Chinese Museum um, was created in the beginning of the 1980s um, as a result of the women's movement in the 70s. And uh, it has always been a place for um, discussing gender and equality. Um, and now, more than ever, we need, uh, we need to discuss gender, uh, not only from a, a woman, women perspective, but also uh, from a transgender perspective, from homo, a homosexual perspective. We, we need to discuss um, the importance of gender in our society. What does it mean to be uh, born as a woman uh, or to be born uh, as a man? It, it means something for us all and it means something um, in terms of how the society sees uh, every individual. So uh, the Women's Museum uh, is a museum um, about the cultural history of gender. We discuss gender uh, in, in the history, we discuss gender now, and, and we want also to talk about uh, what gender will mean for us all uh, in the future. exhibitions. We, we both show um, uh, exhibitions about uh, cultural history but we also show art exhibitions and uh, that's because art has uh, a language of, it, of its own and uh, has a certain way of, of discussing uh, this topic gender um, in new ways. Um, the Women's Museum um, makes a lot of events a lot of uh, debates about uh, gender issues. Uh, we also um, we also have a lot of uh, educating programs uh, for both small children and for um, um, for the universities and, and higher schools. Recently, we have um, uh, established um, uh, an education. Uh, in sexuality, a, a program for, for educating uh, sexuality in, um, in the schools and it, it really is very popular because uh, many of the teachers find it very difficult to teach um, these young teenagers uh, in, in, in issues about sexuality and identity, emotions. But we find that um, using the history and using historical artifacts makes it uh, more easy to, to talk about these intimate um, topics. <laughs> 